five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, how are you? I'm Alex Bennett. This is the Ramble. We go until midnight on the Eastern Daylight Time of the West East Coast. Uh, and uh, we're going to get to our citizens panel about uh, 25 minutes from right now. But it's time to check in with an old friend of ours that we love checking in with. You like us checking in with him too. Here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Larry Bubbles Brown. He lives in California. That's his problem. No, I uh, I really wish I lived back in California, but I think if I lived back in San Francisco, it would bother me, wouldn't it? It'd be very expensive, yes. It, well, I mean, very expensive. But you're I, in an expensive city now, so. Well, well yeah, yeah. Um, we're almost through with our with our with our uh, uh, pro thing with this apartment. Oh, this I want to. This is the longest thing in civil litigation I've ever heard of. It's gone on for almost six years now. Unbelievable. Uh, over six years, actually. And um, they went to a. They went. They went into court. I got a thing from a lawyer. They went into court before a judge. I didn't. We didn't have to show up for it. And the judge said, uh, it "Seem said I think that we were the real victims here." You know, that, mm -hmm. you know, he, he completely absolved us of any wrongdoing at all and said that we were, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to remember what the lawyer said exactly. He said, the, uh, the judge said that, uh, yes, uh, 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 okay, hold on a second, uh, that uh, the two of you are innocent victims. That's how he stated it. So, mm -hmm. We're looking for a happy outcome, you know, after all these years, you know. And then he said it may result in a very low rent-stabilized rent. So I've heard an estimate of $900 a month, so keep your fingers crossed. Because wow. that, that's about what you're paying, right? I'm paying a little less than that, yeah. But... Yeah, yeah. But you've only got a studio apartment. I've got a three-bedroom Huge kitchen, dining room, living room, foyer apartment. That must be great. Oh, it's terrific. Problem is, there's no bathroom. But that's the only other problem, you know. Just kidding. So listen, <laughs> I, I I heard something about you. Um, uh -huh. uh, yes, I heard you got a job. A job? I heard you got a movie. No? Oh, a uh no, Will uh, Will Durst and I are, uh, got uh, some low budget movie. I think we're shooting next. Oh, he! I talked to him days. yesterday, and he said to me, "Oh, did you hear Bubbles is going to be in a movie?" And I went, "Oh, it's well, terrific!" You know, but he didn't say I'm in it too. Oh, he's in it too. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. So but it's just some indie thing. It's, yeah, no big deal. It's... So you're getting paid. Uh, they haven't discussed money yet. I'm assuming we are, but yeah. <laughs> they uh, they cast us without us even auditioning. So I I don't know if this is going to work or not. So what what do you what part are you playing? I play the uh, pesticide uh, the pest inspector. <laughs> the pest inspector. Yes, and. Uh, I just have a few lines. I just come in and rip these people off, charge them five hundred dollars to lay down two traps. But it's just yeah, oh, I see. Okay, okay. So you're and, the exterminator. And I, Will Will has a very big part, which uh, was also I think it was offered to me, but it has so many lines. I thought I can't remember all that crap. So <clears throat> what's that part? He he plays Gramps. Oh really? <laughs> yes. This is. You know, a, you know, your life is going to shit when they cast you as Gramps. <laughs> you just gotta know that. <laughs> it looks like this movie written for old people, which is uh, certainly not a demographic that's going to sell. Well, you know so something. Know. You know, you know, it's they really should because there are a lot of us out there. Like, for instance, they've got this thing with uh, with uh, Michael Douglas and Alan Arkin. 
called uh, the Kaminsky Method. Right, right. And it's about being old. Uh, it, and it really is a show for old people, but it's so funny that I'm sure that people who aren't old are enjoying it. And I think there's a market for that. I mean, because I immediately respond to that. I go, I'm old, I'll, I'll watch it, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I thought if I got to be this age, I wasn't going to be an old fart. But it turns out that I was an old fart. It also turns out that I lost uh, Larry Bubbles Brown. Hold on a second. Let's, uh, let's call him back. Wow, Larry is unavailable. What is this? Did he lose a signal? There we go. Now it's ringing. Okay. There we go. Oh, boy. Yeah, you, you cut out for like 10 seconds there. No, I called you back. I had to call you back. Yeah. Yeah. And we're doing this all while I'm recording this, so everybody can hear the adventure we're on. What what was I saying? I was talking about... You said you would uh, get a program that had old people in it. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, I didn't think that when I got older that I would embrace being old and say, oh, I want a program with an old guy in it. But I really responded to that show because it was all the things that I've been going through. Prostate problems, you know. My favorite line is, when I pee, it's dots and dashes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Michael Douglas and Alan Arkin, two of my favorite actors. Yeah, yeah. Alan Arkin especially. What a gem he is. Yeah. God, he, he's great, yeah. And what a career he's had. I saw, uh, if you go online, well, <laughs> forget, forget it with you, but if you go online, folks, and you go to YouTube, they have a lot of the... Oscar shows uh, from the past, but the beginnings, the first like 15 minutes, the opening and the opening monologue. And it contains a, a section at the beginning where you go, arriving tonight are, you know, and they show all these various people. And then they show the audience in the theater. And in the one for 19, I think 63, if I'm not mistaken, there's Alan Arkin, because he got nominated for an Academy Award. Sixty-three, Jesus. Uh, for a picture called "The Russians Are Coming," the Russians are coming. Oh, okay, that was sixty-six. Was it sixty-six? See, yes. Larry Bubbles Brown, Rain Man, got the numbers. Yeah. And uh, it was uh, Eve. Who was the, the woman in that? Was from uh, on the waterfront. What was her uh, name? Uh, Eva Marie Saint. Right, she's in that. I think. Yeah, who accidentally referred to herself on Edward R. Murrow's person-to-person -person program as Eva Marie Shit. <laughs> really? Yes. My father always <laughs> used to refer to her, oh, there's Eva Marie Shit. <laughs> Sounds like she had an esteem problem. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> but anyway, um, um, so there was Alan Arkin. God, he was so fucking young. Well, of course, everybody's fucking young when it was 1963, and it's now in 2019, you know. Jesus. <laughs> but, I mean, he, he was like... He huh? still alive. <laughs> well, I mean, if people can imagine Alan Arkin being this really handsome, good-looking guy, you know, but the, because we, we tend to think of him as an older guy because his his career has been most successful as an older man, so... Whatever. And he's got, a, he's got a son who does not exactly look young, who's got a pretty good acting career, too. Yeah. Who is his son? Uh, Adam a Arkin. Adam Arkin. Adam Arkin, yeah. Uh, and he's terrific in that show. I mean, uh, obviously you can't see it because you have to have Netflix, and you don't have a... a <laughs> you can't get Netflix because you don't have uh, anything but a dial-up. Right. My sister's got Netflix, so I can see it when I go there. Now, you can get online, right, from your cable company, yeah. right? Well, I can I can get online. Yeah, yeah but you don't. I, I get, get online to check my email. I can't see any video. No, but what I'm saying is they you don't have that fast throughput. That No. You know, but that, that is available in your apartment house, right? Something about our building, or I've called a couple of uh, internet places, and they just said, uh, your building's not ready yet. We might be able to get to it in a couple what years. What building isn't ready yet? I don't know what they have to do to it. but Hell, I mean, you know, I had an old building down in the marina, and I had uh, any service I wanted, you know. 
God, that's that's retarded that they they it tell is. you that this really bu- building it could be your landlord. It's an asshole. That could be too. They want us out of here. <laughs> yeah, and they, he doesn't want he doesn't want to bring the service in. No, I think I'm trying to remember if they have if your landlord has to pay them something to wire the place for cable. I think they I think they are responsible for the outside wiring. So well, you have ca- you have cable TV, don't you? Yeah. You do have cable TV. No, I don't. Oh, you don't. Oh, okay. All right. So you get yours through an antenna? Mhm. God, what's that and a, like? And a digital converter box. And a digital converter box. Got to have the box cuz you can't get the signal from the air anymore. I love talking the- to you because it's like it's like uh, going back to the uh, <laughs> It's how a museum. <laughs> it, it's like Jurassic Park, you know. I mean, it's like <laughs> But yes, that, I'm pulling in da- David Mackle hat. Dad, what was it school. like to live back in the 50s? Well, let's go over to Larry's <laughs> place and we'll show you. <laughs> back the then, rabbit ears. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what you should do is probably get Wi-Fi. Oh, God. And leech onto somebody else's Wi-Fi. <laughs> You That's know. what somebody told me, but that seems to me like then they'd be seeing what you're doing or something. I don't know. It doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't sound very secure. Yeah, but think of the life you lead. Do you really care if anybody steals your identity? <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Didn't you used to have a line in your act about that? Yes. Someone stole my identity. Now his life sucks. Yeah, you did that on Letterman. I did that on Letterman. Yeah, that's a good line. It's a good line. good line. Was that the first Letterman or the one 20 years later? 20. Bubbles well, did, le- did Letterman see, that, twice. That was 11 years. 11 ago. years difference between the first time. Shows you how aggressive he is with his career, okay? People go on Letterman. They kill like you did with your first shot on Letterman. You were asked to come back with five minutes more material, Right. Yes. And I mean, no, it was, yeah, you're right. It was 21. God. Huh? It was 21 years. <laughs> what, between your shots? Between shots, yeah. You were on, you were on the, the NBC show, right? That was the old NBC show, which was actually, the, I thought, his best show. But Yeah, and then, then 21 years later, you call up the show and say, well, I'm ready. Now, <laughs> this, is not, this is not how careers are made, Larry. I know. And then... Uh, you should have been there like two weeks later saying, you know, I've got cash, like you used to say. I have yeah. cash. And then I tried to... to actually, I got, I could have done the show one more time, and I never got around to it. Oh, jeez almighty, Larry. I know. But, you know, it doesn't... Why? You only come up with five minutes Dude, worth of material just, every 20... You only come you. up... You only come up with five minutes worth of material every I twenty had, years. Like I said I could have done, and I I just kept jacking around. I never got around to taping it, and then then they announced he was leaving. So yeah, yeah. Well, and that wasn't the time to call them because they were putting everybody on that they wanted the to say goodbye hitter, to. Yeah. Well, yeah. So yeah, uh, because I know you did you did very well on your first shot. And it's I okay. And, the second and, one I thought was better. Well, I said when I saw the first shot, I have to remember because that was 21 years earlier. (laughs) I said, Larry looked great. You know, Larry was terrific. Uh, And the reason I felt you were terrific was because um, uh, I, I looked at you and I said, he plays well on TV because TV does a close up of you. You know, it doesn't. You're not standing on a stage in a club, and right. close up. You were even funnier because you had a look, and you did takes. And yeah, you, actually, I do a little mugging, which apparently never showed up in the clubs, but on TV it does. Yeah, so you were made for those TV shots, you know. So if you had done another couple of shots, I'm sure David. Dave would have you on constantly because he's you were the kind of guy that made Dave laugh. Yeah, I could hear him laughing. It was great. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I thought you were perfect for it. I thought, and, right. that, and that second shot was, as you say, was perfect too. But 21 years later, Larry, <laughs> <clears throat> you know, n- now where can you go, you know? 
there's nowhere to go. TV's dead. Yeah. I mean, do they dismiss you if you want to do a TV show because of your age, or do you just not try? Oh, they would. They would definitely dismiss you because of your age, sure. Yeah. I know. I know guys that are 20 years younger than me that have told they're too old for Fallon and Colbert. Well, you know what I what I suddenly came to realize, and, and uh, this was a terrible thing, is I said to myself, when was the last time I saw Lewis Black on TV? Yeah, he's disappeared. He's disappeared. And I don't think you're he's right. In, you're I, right. I don't think he's in ill health or anything like that. At least I haven't heard that. But you don't see him anywhere anymore. And I think it's because right. of his age. I'm sure. That's one of the fat, funniest men on the planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, anyway. Um, so you got a movie. That's good. Well, got a movie. A make, Let's a, have a, it work out. You, 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 make sure you see Will play Gramps. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, the next time I talk to him, I'm going to say, I hear you're playing Gramps. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were in that movie, too. You're playing Gramps? Why didn't he? Well, maybe he dropped out, but I thought he was on it. So. Yeah, no, he said, did you hear that Larry got a part? He didn't tell me I got one, too. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's typical Will modesty, you know, not blowing his own horn. Yeah. Or not, um, it hasn't been filmed yet, has it? No, no, uh, it's next month. It's I next think they've month. shot some scenes now, but I'm doing mine in about a month. Yeah, yeah. Uh, independent film, that means no pay. Yeah, yeah. right. By the way, uh, yeah, well, I don't want to put better you... better be some pay. I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you have any um, trivia questions for me today? Trivia, yes, I do. We're coming up on the uh, 10th anniversary of Michael Jackson's death, and uh, there, there was another famous person that died that day. Do you ever, let me ask you this question quickly, because I'm this way, and I don't know why I'm this way, but um, when you say Michael Jackson's been dead 10 years, the immediate thought that comes to mind of, I wonder what he looks like in his grave right now. <laughs> Do you ever think about that? I mean, that the person's pretty much mulch. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty... Well, you don't want to be buried. Ugh. I, I guess. I have no choice in the matter. If I die first, girlfriend's going to have me cremated. That's probably the way to go, and, right? Yeah, and at the rate I'm going, because I've got a some kind of agita going on in my chest, I I think. Uh, <clears throat> well, I had it checked out, and the doctor says it's probably pollen. So, you know, uh, I, but I imagine everything else possible. But anyway, Michael Jackson's 10th anniversary of his death, yes. But somebody else famous died that day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And I, at the time, said everybody's going to miss the fact that this person died. It was kind of like, do you remember when Aldous Huxley died? He died the day JFK got killed. That's right. And I said, nobody's going to know Aldous Huxley is dead for years because nobody right. paid attention to <laughs> He got to totally it. screwed out of his obituary. Yeah, Aldous Huxley, in case people don't remember, was the, uh, I'm also uh, using a throat lozenge right now. Uh, uh, Aldous Huxley, Huxley wrote uh, Animal Farm in 1984, and he was a great author, great futurist. But anyway... Mm-hmm. Who died that day? Uh, Wait, you uh, want to guess? It was a, you... uh, Farrah Fawcett. I'll, I can give you a hint, or I give Wait, you the oh, answer. Was it Farrah Fawcett? It was Farrah Fawcett. Yeah. 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 Now I remember. She died that day, and everybody went. After all that she's been going through, she finally dies, and nobody's going to give a shit because Michael Jackson just died. Right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. yeah. Was that the biggest selling poster of all time? Remember her in that wet swim? I would think that the largest selling picture of all time was Betty Grable. Oh, during, during World War okay. II, every GI had a picture of Betty Grable hung up somewhere. She was very pervasive. Uh, I, you know, I really don't know whether Farrah Fawcett's was the biggest ever. But it was huge, though. Yeah, I never. Did you find her sexy? 
I don't particularly like blondes, so not she wasn't I don't, my favorite. I don't no. like blondes either. Uh, so you and I would make. Oh bad. really? Yeah. P and pe don't pe people act like you're crazy if you don't like blondes? I just. No, no, I've never liked blondes. I like brunettes. I like brunettes. Yeah. 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 You and I would the not be you and I would not be great dating buddies because no. we, would, we both go after <laughs> the same. Those brunettes from the '40s movies. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, um, you know, it, uh, like my sexual obsession when I was a kid, if I had one in a movie star, was uh, Natalie Wood. Okay, you know, yeah, she's hot. She was the ultimate brunette in a lot of ways, you know. Uh, but no, I always loved brunettes over blondes. I always felt blondes always look kind of cheesy, you know. Yeah, uh, I thought so. Yeah, on the I like who is the. I'm uh, sorry if you're blonde and listening to this. Although the Black Lagoon, if you're blonde and don't aren't listening to this, uh, <laughs> uh, because that there's a better chance of that. What were you saying about the creature? The, from, the, the brunette from Creature from a Black Lagoon. I thought she was incredibly hot. Julie so. Adams. Yeah, Julia. Okay. Okay, and she was in a bathing suit. Yeah, she was. I believe it was Julie time. Adams. That's uh, my mind says Julie Adams. Okay. I think I, it's Julie. I think Adams is right. Yeah, with two D's. I think on the Adams. don't don't think she did anything after that, but she. I think she did some stuff. She was like a she was a uh, uh, a contract star over at Universal, and I think she did uh, a couple of other films. And I'm trying to remember. I mean. I think she did some other sci-fi stuff, oddly enough. But I'd have to look it up. Well, I can look it up right now. You see, because you I have I have the internet. Because you've got because you're not a luddite. I'm not a luddite. But if I go Julie Adams, okay, everybody is listening and going, why is he even going to the pr trouble of looking up Julie Adams? Okay, Julie Adams. Uh, they mention her as creature from the Black Lagoon. Let's go to her now. Okay. Uh, let's see here. She did, uh, well, she, she did a film called World Trade Center in 2006. God, she was working all her life. Oh she was God. working in the 90s. She? she was working in the 80s. She was doing a lot of TV, like Vegas and so on and so forth. And then early on, wow, she had a big career. She was on the Jimmy Stewart Show, Night Gallery, um... Let's see here. Uh, Creature in the Black, Black Lagoon was when? Wow. I have to go all the way down to the bottom here. Uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Francis joins the wax. Remember Francis movies? Francis the Mule, yeah. The Mule, yeah. Uh, and um, um, uh, who, played, uh, who played the voice of Francis the Talking Mule? It starred Donald uh, O'Connor, by the way. Yeah, it was it was an old. Uh, he's an act, he was a dancer, and and uh, no, he wasn't. You're thinking of Buddy Ebsen, but I'll tell you who it was Chill Wills. Oh, Chill Wills! Wow, wow! Yeah. Did not know now that. everybody out there who's listening to us is going, "Oh, Chill Wills, huh?" <laughs> no, they're not. They don't even remember Chill Wills, but she did a lot of films uh, up to up to Creature from the Black Lagoon. Well, how yeah. old is she? I think she's dead. Actually, she's got to be dead. Is she dead? Let me see here. Uh, uh, yeah, um, died uh, in two thousand nineteen, in February. This year. February of this year, she was ninety two. Holy Christ. So you think of that woman. What I loved about the creature of the Black Lagoon was the scene where she's swimming and the creature is under her like he's almost fucking her, mm -hmm. you know, and following <laughs> her under the water. And, I mean, she cut a nice little uh, little swath of uh, flesh in that the bathing suit. Oh, yeah. And now that the wonderful woman who you watch who will be preserved forever s swimming with the creature from the Black Lagoon is mulch. Okay, we're mulch. back to mulch again. So. Well, you remember that uh, Bobby Slayton had a uh, little model of the creature. No, not a little him. model. He had a full. He had a full size model. You know how he got that yeah, model? And they only made a dozen of them. Yeah. Do you know how he how he bought that model? 
I forgot how he got it. He calls me the, up and says, theory. I need $600. I want to buy a creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, so he borrowed it from me. <laughs> so he borrowed the money from me. I don't know if he ever paid me back. I can't remember. But I, you know, I always say to him, how's the creature doing? He still has it. It was wow. used in theaters as a giant stand-up of the creature from the Black Lagoon. So anyway. That's got to be worth some money. I would imagine... I would imagine. But anyway. Hey, listen, we're running out of time again. Time it, flies it, with those Luddites. In, in more ways than one, time is running <laughs> out, folks, for Larry and I. Uh, but uh, uh, why don't we talk to you next week, okay? We will. Ladies and gentlemen, the inimitable Larry Bubbles Brown. Yeah. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, hello, welcome back. I'm Alex Bennett, and here I am. Uh, ready to go uh, to talk to people out there. Uh, yeah, we're starting to get some viewers now. Um, when I play interviews, sometimes people listen to them, and sometimes they don't. But I play him anyway because I don't give a shit. Okay, how do you like that? Oh, okay. That's forget. Make no, pay no attention to the sounds you may hear occasionally. Those are all Skype deals. Um, okay, okay. I've turned on Skype, so if anybody out there wants to call, you can call. Guess what I got in here? You, yeah, I guess you can't hear it really. Well, you can, you can kind of hear it there. I got a new air conditioner. Yes. At last, I, it's, it's cool in here. I mean, uh, I haven't got it. I've got it on Energy Saver. If I don't have it on Energy Saver, let me turn it off of Energy Saver. It'll probably get even colder. There we go. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's cool in here. It's, uh, well, it's cooler than it is out there. We, we got some real... Um, Stuff going on out there. With, uh, okay. Here we go. Who's calling? Ah, Scott Boniker. What do you know? Oh, Scott is calling. Yeah. I win. Yes. Number one. Yes, he's number one. He's number one. Let me put you in a thing here. There's Scott. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, as I do my little dissolve here. Da, 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 da. There he is, there's Scott Boddicker. Hey, uh, and guess who you're... I, guess who I look up Julie Adams. She was born in Waterloo, Iowa. That's just up the road from where I used to... Where I was born. Really? Yeah. Okay, let me see here. I, uh, I've i just added uh, uh, your pal uh, to the... Uh, I had to beat him in, so I'm okay. I, I own him now. Hold, hold on a second. Uh, it's not the way it works. He also, <laughs> uh, 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 Jeff Stein. But I, I've been trying to figure out how to get rid of that ding, ding, ding. Oh, and here comes Rob Alfano. Okay, everybody cool it while I get you all a space here. Uh, first of all, let me uh, get up. Uh, who's got their audio up? Who's got it up? Who's going with it? Uh, let me see here. Rob Alfano. Uh, he's in, uh, okay, let me do that. Let me see if he comes in. Does he, where does he come in? Come on, Rob Alfano. Uh, I'm, I'm having a, oh, there's Charlie Wallace. Well, I'll put Charlie Wallace in there. What happened to Rob Alfano? Mm. Okay, let me see here. There we go. And then if I, uh, if I do this, I got to go over to the, this. Uh, and I got to put in Jeff Stein. He'll be in the number four slot. Uh, this just takes a little while, folks. That's all. Here comes Jeff in that slot. Let me see here. Let me do that. And now, whatever happened? What happened to um, uh, what happened to uh, Rob Alfano? Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Plus, no, maybe maybe I just saw him in there and he didn't call. Try, if you called, Rob, call again, but I, I don't know if he was calling. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good. Can well, you hear us? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's, uh, what, Had a good weekend. 
You had a good weekend, did you, Scott? Yes. What did you do that was so good? Make me jealous. <laughs> Let me check my uh, day planner here. <laughs> that was I, memorable. I can't remember anything. I have to write down everything. So let me look up what I did on the weekend, and I'll tell you in a bit. Okay. Uh, da, da, Your da, da, diary. Da, 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 da. Huh? Yep. Dear diary. Dear diary. We're waiting. Uh, <laughs> oh, I watched the lady, lady golf, the LPGA. Really good for you. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing more sexy than watching women golfing. I don't know why. It just, it's good. Maybe well, that's because you went to Catholic school and they wear those short white. Dresses, don't that's they? It. Yes. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Something, something about it. I meant, yeah. you know. Now, if they were plaid, if they were plaid dresses. Objects in front of them, but anyway, yeah. it's, it's, it's fun. I like it. Oh, you like to see them hit balls. Yes. <laughs> hit balls with clubs. Yeah. I'm turning my air conditioner down. I want it cooler in here. Yeah. It, How's it working? It's working good. I, it's, a, yeah. it's a frigid air, so it must be cold. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, you got this one, you paid the $30 extra. Yeah, but I got it. I got it two days earlier than I would have from, uh, from, uh, uh normally from, did, uh, uh, did you complain? Yeah, I complained. Oh, of course. Hey, hey, you shipped it early. I wasn't ready. No, they, they, I, what happened was, is they shipped it from, this was from, uh, uh Amazon, but it was from a, a sec, a third party, and I didn't realize it was a third party. And if I ordered it from them, it would be thirty dollars cheaper, but they yeah. wouldn't make good on the thirty dollars. And also, it said that it was going to get here like July third. And then I looked <laughs> at the thing and said, "It'll be there Monday." So it came in yesterday, and today I had my super put it in, and it's um, it's uh, cooling up a storm. It's much cooler in here than it has been. Yeah, and it's how much not, does that uh, cost to have the super put it in? Twenty bucks. I paid it. I gave him fifty. Fifty. I'll tell you why. He did some. Did you get a happy ending? Yeah, but no. I no. <laughs> the reason I do it is because it's a way of me saying to the super, "See, I take care of you." You know what I'm saying? He's the guy yeah. to keep happy. All right. Yeah. Well, but what he did well, is, you know how you get these accordion pleats for the for the uh, for the uh, yeah, air conditioner yeah. to fit in the window. Well, in the window prior to this, there have been these plastic inserts that were clear so you could see yeah. outside and so he said well let me take those downstairs and he cut them for recut them to fit the new one nice so I, I figured hey you know uh now once he finds out you're paying 900 a month he's going to be a little pissed at you well i mean it doesn't matter to him just as long as he keeps getting that good 300 dollar a year bonus at the end of the year from me yeah and the 50 dollars. i mean usually i give him 20 when he does anything but today I felt there was a guy that came up with him, and you know, I, I just felt, what the hell, you know? Yeah. It's Christmas, yeah. okay? Yeah, he, is that, he's the super to put the sign on the on the thing. Hey, if you give me twenty bucks, don't expect me to come back and fix it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, but so it's 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 working really well. It's working nice. I got a new remote for it and everything. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, very nice. You know, so uh, just another remote control. It'll go with this one and this one. And, <laughs> you know, I have a and, Harmony and, and this one. one. Oh, I didn't turn that on. Let me see here. What? I have a I have a remote called a Harmony oh, One, they, they and it sucked. will run fifteen. They sucked. I've been using it for ten years. I, they sucked. Every <laughs> once in a while, you gotta push no, the help you, button. You want to know something? You mm -hmm. really like, you don't want something, a remote, that will handle 15 different machines at one time. It's your program. Because you got to figure out how to do it. It's just, it, it was. Ah, you do it once and you're done. I, it was useless. I bought one. It was fucking useless. I'm just, uh, look, I know where this remote is, and I know where this remote is. You know, why, why do I need them all in one thing? Yeah, it's usually under the sofa. <laughs> you know? I'll tell you what yeah. happened yesterday. Yeah. So Marjorie always has to have the Roku remote control on her side of the bed. Right. It's, yeah, it's the law. Okay. Where's my remote? Wait a minute. Didn't I buy that Roku? Where's my <laughs> remote? Okay. So yesterday I get up and I reach over to the, her side of the bed to get the Roku because I want to watch something. You know, I record it. 
on Roku, and uh, it's not there. And I search everywhere looking for this thing, and it's nowhere. I call her. She says, well, look at my drawer. Maybe it fell in my drawer. I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh -oh. Finally, I found it, of all places, uh, under the, you know, I, you know, the, what is it, the comforter for the right. bed that she, it was under there. Uh, who made the bed? Uh, I made the bed, but the, All right. but the comforter was there, and I didn't have to do anything about it because it's been so hot we didn't bring the comforter up. Uh. All right? So finally I found it after about a half hour. I suddenly realized something I had forgotten, and that was that I could uh, just push simply no, push a button on the top of my Roku, and the, It'll find the, it? the remote will make a noise, a whistling noise. Oh, you have a newer Roku. Yeah. I have the three. So I didn't know that. I forgot that completely. You know, I take the uh, the Roku. I'm watching TV. I take the Roku remote. I get up. To, I go to the kitchen to get something. Mm -hmm. I set it down on the counter in the kitchen. And when I go back to my chair, I can't find it. And, you know, so, uh, yeah, that, that's what happens with remotes. Well, but I hadn't set the yeah. Roku up with the Harmony One. Well, what I love about my uh, phone here. Okay. You got a Roku app, huh? No, I don't. Have, oh, I do have a Roku app on there. But what I like about my phone is, if I lose my phone, I go yeah. to my watch, I lift this up, and then I push on this, mm -hmm. and then I know where my phone is. And, and it knows where you are. And at my age, you have no idea how often I do that. <laughs> hey, uh, did did you hear about that uh, American soccer woman soccer player and? Uh, you know what she said uh, about the White House? Uh, this is uh, Megan Raponi. She says, I'm not going to the fucking White House. And did you hear what Trump said? No. He says, well, I don't really care. She's not my type. Did he say that? No. No. <laughs> did she say, I'm not going to the fucking White House? Yeah, she did. Good she for her. That, yeah. Good for her. Yeah. You yeah. know something? I didn't bring in my, I didn't bring in my Snapple. You guys talk to each other for a second. Right yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That, that, I got my that, one joke. That, that, that <laughs> so, how are you doing? Uh, looks like Jeff is in Connecticut. I am in Connecticut. Oh, he's back home. Yeah. And uh, I was up upstate New York. Debates coming up. To... Yeah. Uh, did you uh, find the college that uh, your granddaughter is going to go to? Or? Yeah. Well, actually, the funny part is the reason we went is because Pam went to the same school. Yeah, <laughs> and she walks in, and you know, it's let's let's estimate forty years later. Yeah, <laughs> she goes in there, and the whole building is totally different. Yeah, you know, there's nine thousand yeah. more because uh, I have people. coffee. Buildings I have and coffee, but it makes me thirsty. Made well, and change. What, what yeah. have you been talking about well, since I've been gone? Uh, 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 Jeff taking his granddaughter up to his uh, wife's alma mater, but uh, Scott knows how to do that. He he'd been going back and forth, what to Arkansas or uh, what uh, college was it that your daughter was going to? Yeah, it was Arkansas. Where where where's Jeff's granddaughter going? Upstate uh, New York. Uh, is it Cornell or? Uh, is, no, it's uh, what's the name of the town? Uh, oh no, no, the, the school. Yeah, it's not. It's not Cornell. It's the other. I thought one. you said Ithaca. Ithaca. Yeah. What? It's the name of the town and also the name and of the school. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Ithaca. Anyway, so it's pretty far. Yeah. And, and if, you, if you're interested in in theater, probably it's a good place to go. Ah. So she's not going to be employable when she gets out of school, huh? <laughs> <laughs> She'll be dancing. Uh, they, but that's okay. They'll forgive the school debt. You know, what is it, the uh, the loans? Uh, tr uh, $1.7 trillion or something? Hey, we so, bailed out the banks. That's less than what we spent on the banks. Well, bank. we got nothing left for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, so the soccer team, uh, the woman said she's not going to go. I'll bet none of the soccer team goes. She says, I'm not going to the fucking White House. Oh, really? 
Yeah. Well, Good there's nobody her. fucking in the White House because Trump's not getting laid. Well, you know, yeah. he's got a he's got a new press secretary, this uh, Grisham gal, and uh, she was uh, Mel Melania's secretary, uh, press secretary, mm -hmm. and I saw a picture of her. And I think Melania is safe. That tr it's not Trump's type either. <laughs> Don't you think that's the way she hires people? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But anyway, I, you know, I've been watching. I never watched it. Um, <laughs> I, I watched. Uh, um, you know, I watched. Uh, uh, what was that thing? Uh, uh, the uh, Designated Survivor show. Yeah. And I made Marjorie watch it, too, because I think it's pretty good. Uh, and she didn't like it. She says, well, let's watch The West Wing. And I said, well, I've never, I never watched The West Wing. She says, Isn't that kind of dated? You've the never West seen The West Wing? And I said, no. She said, oh, well, let's watch it. Is well, that the one with, uh, what's her name, Heather Locklear? No. 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 Oh. She's wrong. Oh. Boy, are you far off base. Well, I, I, I never watched West Wing. Well, I watched it, and it's, it, it, you know, I've watched, so far I've watched 24 episodes. That's how we spent our weekend. Yeah. That's how great our life is, okay? Well, you've got six TVs, so you can watch six episodes at the same time. Yeah, right. So anyway, so I've watched it. It's a very good show. I mean, Aaron Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin is a great writer. Yeah. So... Uh, uh, and uh, I've uh, I've gotten past the episode where the president gets shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, another dream. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I wonder how it would be if he got shot. You think people would throw confetti at like a well, private parade? Uh, I mean, I wonder. Well, I don't mean quite to frankly, I don't, don't think he'll push it. Or you'll be or you'll be making I, boxes I, I, out, I, I, out I, of cardboard. I don't think. I don't you think that he wouldn't. I, no, if I think if he were shot, he wouldn't know it because he doesn't have a central nervous system. Okay, that's just my th theory. That's also a joke I stole from Will Durst, and that was a, it. Was originally about Reagan, and they say that when Reagan was shot, he didn't know he was shot. And he said, I guess, uh, I w as I always suspected, he doesn't have a central nervous system. He couldn't remember. That's how far back I go with Will Durst. He was doing Reagan jokes. Oh, jeez. Hey, Will jo Durst was doing Lincoln jokes. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, uh, yeah be nice. Uh -huh. He's playing Gramps in a movie. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you know, your your buddy uh, uh, Bubbles mm -hmm. uh, is like you said, he's playing, too. But, you know, uh, Larry does not like photos of himself at his current age. He only likes to post things that are uh, when he was younger, uh, much younger. Well, let's uh, see. And, what's, what's the current photo I have up? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, I Facebook don't page. know. Well, that one's fairly new. Yeah. Because I, I took a photo of uh, him when he was standing behind, uh, uh, what's it, John Means, uh, Dr. Gonzo. Uh -huh. And I called it the Comedy Whisperer. And I got like, I don't know, two, 250 uh, likes, uh, every comedian and his brother, because John put it on his uh, website. And uh, here, I'll show you. Yeah. It was, it was a good shot. And uh, there's Bubs. Yeah, but he didn't like he didn't like it. Uh, he said, uh, you know, he didn't want to get tagged in it because it it was too current. Oh, okay. I think it looks good for him. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, enough of your photographs tonight, or do you want to show more of them? No, I'll I'll I'll, I'll do a slideshow. Yeah, sure. Well, let me do a screen share here. And, oh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I was playing around with that today, and by the way, if you ever do it again, uh, uh, Jeff, yes. if you look, if if you look, if you kind of put your cursor over your screen, you'll see that down there there are like what look like two screens, one top of each other. Yeah, that's the share screen. And if you want, if you do it by accident, you get out of it. You just click on it again, and it'll take you out of it. Yeah. 
Let me try it. No, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, let's test it. No, yeah, let's all no. do it at the same time and see what happens. Well, you, you see, it'll only happen for us here because it won't happen on the show but, because I've got the, the all the people who are up here are up here on Skype via another program. And so no matter what you do to that screen, it doesn't affect this one. And so the audience won't know what you're doing. Mm. Which but is you fine will. with me because there are only like three of them out there anyway tonight. So let's see. No, not, a little more than three. But not many more than three. Well, I'm catching up to you, Alex. What do you mean? It was official yesterday. What do you mean? I was 65. Were you? Oh, you yeah. Happy birthday. You, yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, any of you wished. Uh, the, um, uh, yeah, you know, now you I'm know, I, I didn't know it was your. I, I didn't know it was your birthday. You know why? Why? Well, because you don't give a shit. No, because I'm so <laughs> self-absorbed with myself that I don't give a shit. Exactly. <laughs> right. Uh, you know who else's birthday is June 24th? Oh, I don't. Mark Thorner. Oh, really? Oh, Mark, oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Now, I'm not friends with him on Facebook because when he told me to shut up, I unfriended him. But because uh, well, it hurt my feelings. Well, why don't you refriend him? You can shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Because he probably him. blocked me too. Oh. <laughs> but um, well, happy birthday, yeah, his, Mark. Thorne. His his birthday is uh, also June 24th. We haven't heard from him in a while. No. Yeah, I should, I should drop a message for you to tell you ask him. He takes a lot of good photos, Mark. You, you'd be good friends with him, though. Yeah, no, I, I see him on Instagram, uh, uh, his, his photos. Why he hasn't did, blocked why, that. Why did, you, why did you block him? Um, he must he hurt my feelings. Oh, really? That's oh, funny. that's too bad, Donald. Well, I have a lot of respect for him. Too and bad, Donald. Hurt, too bad. And when he told me to shut up, I mean, when you tell me to shut up, it doesn't hurt my feelings because I know you're an asshole. Shut the but fuck Mark's up. Mark's not an asshole. <laughs> so oh, when he I told see. me that, it words, hurt my feelings. It's okay. I'm a sensitive oh, guy. It's okay if it's coming from an asshole. Right. Yeah. Are you calling well, me an asshole? Well, yeah. Who are you calling an <laughs> asshole? Uh, well, I'm, I'm calling you an asshole. <laughs> you think I'm funny? You think I'm a clown? Yeah. Yeah. What are you, uh, uh, Joe Pesci? Something like that, yeah. yeah. I wish I were Joe Pesci. He makes this yeah. well. Uh, that, what was the line that he had in Goodfellows where he's, uh, what's his name, started laughing and... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, well. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, let me see here. What time is it? Oh, we still have another hour and nine minutes to go. Oh, God. Well, you can pretend it's... You know, I, I listen to Damien, and Damien looks at the clock and goes, oh, we have another five minutes to go. That's out of his allotted 15 or whatever he uses. And I go, gee, I wish I could say that. I'm sitting here going, oh, I got another. Yeah. Well, at least you're not hot. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm feeling a little better today than I've been feeling in the past. Uh, but I, uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, pollen count is just off the walls. It's high. Here. Uh, is it high enough that you're vaping? No, I'm not vaping. <laughs> I'm <laughs> staying away from that stuff. Down. I'm staying well, away from that stuff. I, well, I think uh, what it know, is, the, is I think it was a problem associated with the pollen. Because yeah. I think what I've got is that I feel like my old asthma is coming back. Not with wheezing, <laughs> but the fact that sometimes when it's like this, I find a, a, it, I breathe heavier and it, I'm a little it's more smuggy, out of breath from it? doing stuff. Is it muggy? No, it's, it's in the well, city. It well, should... it's also it's also humid here. Yeah, yeah. not in this humid. room now Are because you... the air conditioner, my six thousand BTU, as opposed to the well, five thousand, oh, and, like and the old one when <laughs> I, I would like turn when much. I would turn the old one on and off, the light yeah. or on mm -hmm. rather, the lights here would dim momentarily. Oh, this is more efficient. This one doesn't. Yeah, it's probably more efficient. Plus, on the head of the uh, of the of the plug, it's actually got a circuit breaker. I, I bet you the coils are clean in this, and that the coils in your other one, you would have had to have flushed or done something the other one, to get the, good cooling. The other one was old, and uh, I have one just like it in the in the guest Kinda room. Like you. I have one just like it in the guest room, but it it works very very efficiently. So probably doesn't get as much use. It doesn't get as much use. You're quite right about that. And does it face the main street, or is it face a yeah, courtyard? Yeah, faces the main street. Yours faces the main street, no, but this the, the guest faces, room. This one faces the courtyard. The one oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, because maybe the pollution from the main yeah. street, but that, that that theory is out the window. Yeah. And I try I tried uh, the uh, tried it all over the house. I tried the uh, turn the microwave on to see if that would work. Turned on the other air conditioner in the other room to see if that would work. And they uh, and none of it did all you know. Well, you know why it works. Knock on wood so far. Wow. You, you know why it works. Why does it work? It doesn't have Skype. I see. <laughs> what? Well, I don't get that. Well, you know, if you <laughs> loaded Skype, Skype never works. So if it doesn't have the Skype program, yeah, uh, I gotta, I gotta explain everything to you. I thought you were a smart guy. The other, <laughs> the other night, by the way, when we did, when we had thirteen, what was it? With me, thirteen people oh, here. Yeah, a jackpot. I wrote Skype and said it couldn't take it. You know, right. it just couldn't take it. It just well, all of a sudden, people were being their picture was being knocked off and so yeah. on. You know, right now it's perfect, and it will be perfect until we get to 10. Once we go over 10, boom, it goes crazy. Well, didn't Skype write back and said your computer doesn't have enough power? No. no. <laughs> I'm not worried about this. Tonight I'm recording at a higher rate uh, yeah. than I normally do. And yeah. um, uh, I am um, still only using 15% of the CPU. Huh. So. Hey, which which one of those uh, rich guys is sending up the, uh, the the spaceship with 24 satellites on it uh, uh, in the next couple of weeks? I didn't hear about that. Uh, it's either Elon Musk or the or the Virgin Galactica well, guy. Where, where's it going? Uh, where's it going? It's going to go up and put 24 satellites uh, in orbit. You know, just but what you, just what we need more fucking space junk up there. You know what else is in that thing? What? Yeah, the, that guy who played Scotty on Star Trek oh, Wars, James whatever Duhan. it is. Yeah, his ashes are on the... Oh, uh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's yeah. so Isn't nice. that wonderful? He's even cluttering up outer space. <laughs> Jeez almighty. Do you know, we have so much junk up there. It's, it's, it, 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 it's hard to explain. It's just really bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. and somebody needs to go up there, and instead of sending stuff up there, is to send a mission up there to start cleaning all this stuff up. You know, we should start taking all that plastic that's in the oceans and send it up there. Well, they figured that what was going to happen with all the space junk was that eventually it would just re-enter in the atmosphere and disintegrate and burn up. The only thing is, it's not doing that, and so it's all floating around up there. We got we got satellites that go back to the probably you know. Mm -hmm. Sputnik. Sputnik is up there for all we know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and we've just made it into a garbage heap. We do that to everything. Now, who did I hear? Oh, was... Jeff's got his hand up. Uh, yes, Jeff. Yeah, this is a question maybe for uh, Charlie. Uh, uh, move, your camera, so, uh, move your camera so we can see her. Move, wait, 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 Jeff, Jeff, move your camera so we can see her whole face. There we yeah, go. That's... Oh, that's so much nicer. Yeah. Anyway, what were you saying? Uh, I guess Trump wants to go beyond the moon to some new place. Well, yeah. Well, he wants to go to Mars, which is part Mars of part of the part, which he said no. he said was part of the moon. He said he wanted yeah, to I grab know. him by the Uranus. Yeah, no, no. But if he, how long does it take to get to Mars? Put him on it's, it, it's a two-year trip. Yeah, to get there and back is two years. Well, getting there is two years, and coming back and, is two years. Unless you take an express train. Well, it depends on the time of the year, too. So he's not even going to be president by the time. No. If oh, he yes, won't. he will. Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear <laughs> what he never tweeted? Leave. He's, never <laughs> he's going to run four times. He says if FDR could have four terms, why not him? Did he say that? <laughs> no, he was a, he was, it was a parody tweet uh, mm -hmm. uh, about um, who, who was he tweeting? Um mm -hmm. Uh, either he treated Pence or somebody, and he was joking about having, uh, you know, four more terms. Or well, Pence you know, what, you know what? I, and I hate, I hate to say this, <laughs> Phil, because this is going to this is get you going again, and then Scott's going to get pissed. And I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to create lack of love on this program. Hey, okay, it's only a joke. But uh, y your guy Trump is a fucking moron. I mean, when he when are he you said, qualified he, when to he make that decision? Yeah, yes, when he said the moon, we should go to the moon, and then we should go to uh, Mars, which is part of the moon. He said that. I heard him think about it. If you go to the moon first and then launch to Mars, 
uh, it it makes sense. It's much easier than going directly to Mars. You know, we if you make a, we realize that Phil, but it, Mars is not part of the moon. Well, yeah, it is. It's, it's part of the part of the trip to the moon or to the Mars. He, but that's not what he was saying, Phil. What he was saying oh, was that's not idiotic. What you to hear. Was completely idiotic. He constantly is saying things wrong or saying things he doesn't know. Oh. He's amazing. Oh, He's Scott amazing. Must say so. Yes, Scott. He likes it cocked and loaded. Yes. Yeah. Cocked, cocked and loaded. Which, by the way, if you if you had all watched uh, Bill Maher last week, he porno actually movie? he actually found a porno film and the box yes. cover for it for a, <laughs> por a, a a gay porno film called Cocked and Loaded. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Freudian slip, huh? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> he was watching it the night before. <laughs> I think he was talking about a reference with Putin. <laughs> Cocked and loaded. Yeah. Yeah. No, I um uh, he's a fucking moron. Uh, yeah, I read yeah. something that uh China and uh the and uh Russia mm -hmm. are going to go back on the gold standard and they're going to try to uh, make their currency uh, more valuable or uh, uh, more stable than the U.S. dollar? Uh, did you hear that, Charlie? No, I haven't heard that. Doesn't surprise me though. Uh, I didn't know anybody had gold reserves. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Um, bunch of Jewish ladies have a whole bunch of them. <laughs> By the way, I, I, you know, I always care about this program. You know, we're on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I always care about this program getting enough listeners and and getting more and more listeners and so on okay and um uh we are now closer than we were yesterday to being number one on youtube oh. okay because Nobody else is on police in new york city confirmed the body recovered from the east river is that of desmond amofa a popular youtube vlogger who went by the name <laughs> etica Omofa, boy, uh, has been missing since June 19th, and the police sent out a notice uh, on Twitter reporting him missing, which you can see below, it says here. This morning, police tweeted this brief statement, we regret to inform you that Desmond Omofa, a.k.a. Etika, has been found deceased. Um, his disappearance followed his posting of a YouTube vid video that raised concerns among his fans in which he expressed what is being described as suicidal thoughts. The video has since been removed. So we're one step closer to being number one on YouTube. Did, did you uh, read an article on the uh, UK Mail that's, uh, that uh, they were saying that um, antidepressants are causing higher rates of suicide and that the highest rates are in England for uh, uh, people using uh, antidepressants. Mm -hmm. And uh, Oh, somebody you know, wants me to change something here. Hold on a moment. I've got to, I've got to change the date on tonight's show. Uh, I, I didn't change it. Uh, hold uh -huh. on a second, folks. Wait a minute. No. Well, is it still June 24th? No, I don't want to create a stream. Come here, you. Uh, no, it's uh, it's the 25th. I should change it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. 25. There we go. All right. If you will, uh, out there, if you're watching, uh, who was the guy that did this? Uh, American Patriot. If you will uh, take your uh, YouTube page and refresh it, it now says this 25th, okay? So, fuck you. Anyway. Mm. Oh, I just made an achievement. I, it says I, I, I've, I've hit uh, double my goal for today for walking. Okay. Six steps? Hmm? Six yeah. steps? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, so, um, um, I, what was it? There was, a, there was a topic I wanted to bring up and I forgot what it was. Oh, boy. I had something that, you know, that I thought was worth talking about. And it had to do with what was, what was... Was it Iran and no, uh, what had Trump? It, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, it had to do with... What did it have to do with? 
Well, speaking of that, Putin came out over the weekend and said that attacking Iran would have been a stupid idea. That's why Trump didn't do it. Because he was told not but to. But I was saying last yeah. week. <laughs> no, I week, don't I think said, Putin he had anything to do with Putin it. Putin told him not to. Um, God, this was something uh, in the women's movement, some kind of, oh, oh, I mean, was it, uh, was it, no. Mm. Damn it. I've got to write these things down. You know, I never used to write it's stuff down because I, I always would put it off on my brain and say, okay, I'll do that on the show. You got another woman accusing a Trump of rape. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, mm. this, and, and, th and this is actual rape. Well, she mm -hmm. was his type in the day. Can you imagine Trump is is in the woman's dressing room and Bergdorf Goodman? Come on. Yes. This, this, this woman's as nuts as that Ford woman. Wait a minute. How do you know she's nuts? How dare you call her nuts? Well, because she's no. making an accusation and you're convicting Trump uh, and not giving him due process. It, uh, You'll it, give due process to the Mexicans on the border, but you won't give it to Trump. Well, Trump, though, uh, has constantly Trump, lived yeah. up to what we believe him to be. He doesn't rape, he grabs. He doesn't rape, he grabs. And you don't see right. grabbing as being a form of rape? No, not, not if you don't see a blowjob being as a form of sex. I didn't rape. say it wasn't a form of sex. I said yeah. women, women don't consider it a form of sex. That's right. That's right. Women, yeah. women, if you say to a woman, how many people have you had sex with? And she'll go, uh, oh, uh, maybe 10. And then you'll go, okay. How many of those how were many got, how uh, many paid? How many of those were blowjobs? And then they'll go, oh well, blowjobs, maybe thirty. <laughs> you know, and and that's like a virgin, huh? That's well, like listen, virgin these kids in, in these kids in school, uh, uh, you know, go to like a Catholic school. Ask oh, Scott yeah. here, and they'll give blowjobs because that isn't sex, right? Scott? Anal sex is not Your, sex. Years anal ago, sex is not sex. Anal sex. Anal is sex is not sex. Come out to the gays. Uh, years ago, Alex gave me a VHS videotape of a uh, woman that screwed a hundred guys uh, in, a, in a club that yeah. you did on Midnight Blue. Well, that was my uh, my my I I, crea I created that uh, that event. Yeah. In which uh, she tried to set the world's record for having sex. Uh, this was before anybody else did it, and the my inspiration was I was watching I Claudius, in which Melina. <laughs> Went out and had sex with what, a hundred guys or something like that? And uh, how uh, many did this one do? I she did. I think she did seventy-five that night. Seventy-five. Yeah, yeah. You know. They have to complete, right? Um, they all. Yeah, they came. The male. Uh, I no, I don't. But think if they penetrated, they had to use a a, a condom. Yes. Well, you'd want yeah. to. You know, and that was before AIDS, but we yeah. made that a rule. Well, you know, so here was the funny part. So we're doing this thing, and uh, all of a sudden we find out we're running out of condoms. Oh, geez. So uh, I send somebody out, and he goes to a <laughs> he goes to a pharmacy and says, "I'd like a hundred condoms, please." <laughs> <laughs> and I guess the guy at the pharmacy said, "Planning on getting lucky tonight." <laughs> <laughs> That was our yeah. biggest expense was the condoms. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. and uh, no, I, I wish I still had that. But, you know, probably uh, you can't watch VHS anymore. I don't think she needs I, I can't remember if we said she had to complete. Uh, uh, she only they, had to have sex with them. Well, no. She, some of them were hand jobs. Some of them she was blowing. Others she was taking. Yes, but Messalina, I don't think. I think it was Messalina was her name. I don't think it had a thing of having to complete with these guys, but just uh, fuck that many guys. Well, know. I... I what, 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 Scott? Looked is like it, she was completing. Is, 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 is this, is this coming at odds with your Catholic uh, sensibilities? No, it's not really sex if you don't complete, so... Yeah. You can ask, ask what if it's a priest. What if, ask <laughs> what if it's a blowjob and it completes? Is that sex? No. <laughs> If you complete, it is. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Well, I guess I'll never have sex. <laughs> Not anymore. No. Uh, just, you know, just a I mean, smoke. Yes, uh, Tony. Did you, were you trying to say something, Tony? 
Oh. No, nah, was those stupid boxes came right folding the cases. What? No, I, I was just saying uh, my mindless work was trying to compare it to the sex -thon. I made 16 hat cases, if it means anything. Oh, good. good. So you completed them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In yeah. under four hours. Hey, did they knock one of your teeth out? What's going on there? I thought you had uh, fixed that stuff. Oh, it yeah. is straight. That's that, true. That one, well, he may have to take this you, one out. You should have seen him. him he was snaggletooth when I first knew him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, now they're straight. Yeah. I mean, he had one tooth going. No, no tooth went in the same direction. No. Yeah. Right? They were all going different ways. Kind of like the Mexicans still trying to come home. Now, why, why, did you, uh, <laughs> why, did you, why did you allow that to stay that way all these years? Is it a form of birth you know, what, I, was I, it? Was it a form of birth control? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess I just, I should have got it done. I just never did. If that he got a into question. a fight, he had nothing to lose. That's true, too. But you know what? Can you knock this one out? Because I was saving some money. <laughs> yeah, I just looked in another uh, about three weeks. I'm getting an implant. Oh, cool. you're going to get it done. Do you have to pump it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, they're going to get put the post in, and then you know that sits there for about three months, and then they put in the tooth. You know. So. Yeah. I decided to do it because it's only costing me like sixteen hundred bucks uh, because of uh, my insurance and all of that. So I figured, what the hell? Why not? You know. You know what I was going to ask you, Alex? Is the dentist more expensive, you think, than the regular doctor? Oh yeah. Because I think I went to the regular doctor. It wasn't that you know regular physical. You go to the dentist. You know you're in for at least two, three hundred just to walk in. Oh, did, yeah. Uh, did you hear what Trump did extreme. yesterday? What did Trump well, do yesterday? He signed a transparency uh, thing, and 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 uh, I, I don't think it's a law, but he he did something where he said that uh, uh, transparency and, and no pharmacies. I think. Well, it's not only pharmacies. It's, it's the charges for. Uh, procedures, uh, but it's also pharmacy. Uh, no, no, no. You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, it, it's it was uh, for drugs uh, that they had to be more transparent with their prices. They're doing it and, already. It's already being done. Well, have you looked at? Have you looked at these TV ads now for uh, for drugs? At the end of it, they give you the price of what it would cost you with and without I, insurance. I, I didn't see that, yeah. but I, I was looking at a at a drug called uh, Victosa, which is for diabetes. It's a pen, and I, uh, Kaiser didn't cover it. So I looked at Costco and I looked at Walgreens, and they were $978 for two pens. I don't know how long the pen lasts. And so uh, then I, uh, somebody told me about this uh, Mark's Pharmacy in, in Canada, and three pens, th $378. So it's it's what one hundred twenty five dollars a pen compared to yeah $500 well I, that's that those that fu those fucking Canadians with their horrible health plans no they're they're taking that stuff over the border they're stealing it and hijacking trucks in I Niagara see area. I they're, see they're I bringing see. it over the border and then they're selling you know it back why it's to cheaper in Canada prices. Phil do you know why it's cheaper in Canada yeah why uh, because the Canadians won't uh, their dollar isn't worth as much. Is that is that a real answer, Phil, or are you just? No, to be I don't funny? know why it's cheaper in Canada. The reason why it's, it's cheaper, cheaper in Canada, Canada is because because we don't have all because the fucked Canada, up politicians. Because Canada Canada controls controls the prices on drugs there, yep. and says we will not allow you to use your drug in our country if you don't um, uh, uh, ch charge a lower what happens price. If it's a drug like uh, the AIDS cocktail or something that you, let's say you can only get from one place, and a, and a guy. You know, with this cocktail, says, "Well, geez, if you won't let me sell it for a million dollars, I'm, I'm yeah. not going to sell it in your country, and your people can die." Eddie, turn you your, know. turn your camera on, will you, please? There we go. Okay, good, good. Now, you know, yeah. don't they have uh, you know uh, uh, competition? Uh, or no, and sometimes there's no competition. It's not a question of competition, Phil. It's a question of uh, they have um, um, uh, single payer health care up there. And exactly. they are not willing to allow companies to sell drugs in their country if they have to buy them at obscene prices. And so that's why the pricing on Canadian drugs are so much cheaper than here in America. Here in America, we don't allow Medicare 
uh, to uh, negotiate with the drug com drug companies on on drug prices. They, Prior it, to it, that, it, uh, let me thing finish. Let me finish. It's against the law, and so therefore. Uh, there's no negotiating with them, so they can charge anything they want to. They jack these prices up. I mean, any other country you go to, these drugs do not cost that price. The price that I saw online at Walgreens and Costco, for instance, didn't say anything about Medicare or no Medicare. You know, if, if Medicare is paying more, that's one thing. But uh, if, if I look online, that drug was three times as much for a thir two thirds now, of the. Yeah, but, uh, but what about your, your, uh, your insurance? I mean, like I have uh, drug insurance, you know, uh, insurance for the drugs. My health insurance covers it, my secondary. And um, uh, they, uh, they will allow you to buy that, even if it's a high priced drug. However, there are two things you have to do. You have to go get an exception on it. You have to get an author pre authorized. And once you pre authorized it, it still might, in cash, cost you a lot more, but it certainly wouldn't cost you the $900 for two doses or whatever you said. Yeah, well, three for four, less than 400 in Canada. Is that, uh, well, you, uh, here, in America, in, here in America, you can get like three blowjobs for that price. So. Oh, I don't know where you're going. <laughs> uh, yes, Jeff. Jeff. I, th I think Phil, now that he's 65, he could get rid of your insurance and uh, go for the government insurance. I, I did. Uh, I, I, have, I have it through Kaiser. And uh, so it's an HMO. And I never really had to worry about it until I wanted this one drug. And okay. when they said, oh, well, we give you metformin or we give you insulin, there's no in-between. And uh, I, I was told that if you start taking insulin within about 15 years, probably not that I have to worry about it, I won't live that long, but within 15 years, it doesn't work anymore. And uh, so I didn't want to start insulin unless I had to. Yeah. I, I'm still making a little bit of in insulin, so this drug makes it, for, mm -hmm. helps make it for you rather than, because it's not insulin. Right. Uh, you can go to Mexico, it's a lot cheaper. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there, it, 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 there isn't a country in the world right now where you can't get that drug cheaper. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know, maybe I can harvest the pancreas. And, and from what I saw, what <laughs> Trump did with this drug bill, it, it's not going to make any difference. So they're uh, well. So they're know, going to be transparent. Yeah, we're charging you nine hundred dollars. Yeah, you can get it in Canada. <laughs> when you know what something costs, look, you, you didn't. You don't know what things cost. If you don't know what they cost, uh, and the insurance is paying for it, you tend to say, oh, I don't give a shit. The insurance pay, pays for it. But if you know what it costs, you might compare, and it would create uh, a competition, which would drive down the price. No, it won't. Are you kidding me? You don't think these guys don't talk to each other? Oh, that's called collusion. Oh, yeah, that's called Trump, collusion. Trump didn't do that, according to Mueller. Yeah, Mueller's going to, by the way, testify. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hello, Eddie. How are you tonight? I'm doing good. Yeah. Are you, you look like a guy at your age who uses drugs. <laughs> no. No, I, get, I have urinalysis at work, so. You have your What? No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> health <laughs> drugs. <laughs> oh, those drugs. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he's drinking Coke Zero, so you know he's not he's not into sugor. No, I Wait have minute, to that, take that lip, is, lip tour is the only thing I that, take. That is Coca-Cola, no sugar. Yep. Yeah. Which is much Man. better than Coca-Cola. With sugar. Well, Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, which they don't call Diet Coke anywhere else in the world. Because the word diet, for instance, in some countries is a bad word. I know that. You know that they had the same problem in South America with the Chevy Nova, mm -hmm. because the word yeah. Nova, I guess, means does not run. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and so they had to change the name of the Nova in, in South America to something else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see here. I've got, got to find uh, women. I've got to find um, Kevin. Hold on a second. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Oh, here, here he is. I think he's here. I think that's him, but I'm yeah. not sure. Oh, you I'm have to put sure. up a new. Uh, let me see here. Is, put... he, is he there? Let me see. Yeah, I could... Hello. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Yeah, we see you, second. Kevin. Kevin. Let me see here. 
Uh, bu- 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 oh, there he is, Hog Rider. Hey. Okay, all right. Yeah. Every now and then I have to remember who the hell you are, you know, when it comes <laughs> to these these funny names all you kids like to use out there. Hey, Kevin, what do you think about uh, those? Uh, how many motorcycles got mowed down by the 23-year-old with a uh, pickup Seven. truck? Seven. Seven of them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Connecticut, yeah. Was it Connecticut? Yeah, yeah. or New Hampshire. Uh, they were on their way to New Hampshire for the yeah. blessing of the bikes. I don't think it worked. The blessing of the bikes? Yeah, and, and, yeah. and uh, what's that place in New Hampshire? Naconia or... Uh, Laconia? Yeah, yeah, Nacon- Laconia. Laconia, something like that. Laconia. Wow. Yeah. I and wish somebody would come and mow down people on my street here. And let me explain what's going on because as I've gotten older and as I've reached my 79th year, going on to my 80th, and it looks like I probably will make it to there before the prostate cancer gets me. Uh, 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 I, uh, I, I, I think I've, I've earned the right to be an old fart. Would you agree with me on that? But you don't have a lawn, so how can you tell somebody no, to get well, off well, of it? Well, wait a minute. Last night, I'm in my guest room watching some TV. And now, granted, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. And I might be trying to go to sleep. Okay? <laughs> and they're blowing off fucking firecrackers. Oh, <laughs> Great. What, who in the world is so such an asshole that they would blow off firecrackers at one o'clock in the morning in a residential neighborhood? Trump did it. Oh yeah. Why do they, people don't? You've have always to lived in noisy apartments, except maybe Sausalito. Okay, wait a minute. Kevin said something there. What do you mean? Oh yeah. You, you agree with me, right, Kevin? Oh, it starts about two two weeks ago here. Yeah. And they're not firecrackers. They're like M80s. M80s. And, yeah. But well, now my yeah. question is, I dynamite. I don't know. Last time That's I looked, cool. I may be wrong. These things are illegal, aren't they? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Depends of on course. what state you're in. Huh? Uh, it yeah. Depends on what they're state illegal you're in. in. Texas. I think uh, Nevada. They're legal. At least they used to be. And uh, then you could go to states uh, like uh, was it North Carolina? Yeah, but kids or South don't. Carolina? No, but there's a limit. There's a limit in Nevada, and I, there's some states down in the south here where you can drive yeah, in the through, south, and they got yeah. the fireworks stands and everything. But they right, can't yeah. sell fireworks over a certain strength, okay? And the kids don't want those. They want the fucking M80s. No sparklers. Yeah, we, we still we still sell. When I was a you kid, know, I was insane a... fireworks here, but not not the illegal ones. Yeah, but no kid, none of these none of these punks want to use the safe insane fireworks. Oh no, no, they, they want the ones do. that come across in the U-Haul trucks from Mexico, mm-hmm. and, the, and you know Trump's screwing that up because he's catching them all. You take four <laughs> M80s, you put it in a pipe, all right, and you cap the bottom of the pipe, and then you put a bunch of nails in it. And a, and a wick, and you cap the top of the pipe, and you know, and you got you got, you know, uh, safe and sane. Oh, so you're you're here on this program. You're telling people how to make an IED. Oh, that's yeah. that's good. Yeah. Very good, Phil. What yeah. are you? You're some kind of fucking terrorist, aren't you? Yes, I am. You, you just put that on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. You, that's, I did. <laughs> we've just told people on YouTube how it's to build. A, it's called a you're, pipe bomb. You're one and of those. Just send nine ninety five. Now for all, just Reverend just James just, Loftin, to, just to Phil Meyer, just to be, Box to be good about this, uh, give uh, just for the women in the audience listening to us, tell us how to, how to make an IUD. <laughs> you, you, do, you do the same thing, but you paint it pink. No, huh? really. You, it's the same same pipe, but just use pink paint on it instead of gray. I see. Okay. All right. Pink. The right color. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, anyway. And by the way, yeah. you got crappy insurance if you're paying that much for Victoza. Uh, well, I, they don't cover Victoza. Oh, that's your problem. Yeah. Uh, so, my insurance covers it, and I pay 70 bucks for 90 days worth. Well, in January, uh, I guess in November, there's open enrollment, and I'm changing to a PPO, and I'm dumping Kaiser. There you go. Yeah. And, uh, if you get uh, a by the way, script. Phil, Phil, this is bothering me. You're involving yourself in socialistic activities. <laughs> no, I'm dumping the socialists. Now, you, you're... When, did you just take so- when did you just take Medicare? Yeah. But Medicare not... is, I don't know what they do with that. You know, you, know you, just, you just give it to the government. But 
Uh, yeah, the other part think- is the part that means the, you know, the part D. Somebody told me part F is what you want. I don't know what part F There's is. There's no part F. Heard yeah, it says you've got an F. No, and, they want uh, to tell you to go yeah, fuck they yourself. Yeah, those extra supplemental yeah, they do. they put on there. I don't know what part F is, but uh, somebody told me today that's what you want. No. Call Bernie. He'll t- tell you. Yeah. Hey, hey, I, there you go. F- I, I don't have any student debt, but... Oh yeah. Hey, so listen. You know what tomorrow? You know, you, shut up, Phil. You, you know what tomorrow night is? Get forgiven. Yes. You know. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna watch it now that you got me interested. In it. I pencil uh, debate shopping. Don't don't they start? Well, Phil, let other people answer oh. here. You've been talking too much tonight. The oh. birthday boy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, don't they yeah. start at the same time as the show? What? No, the debates tomorrow. Start, the no, debates the debate. start at the same time as your show. What time's the debate? I th- uh, thought it was seven my time. So that's no, it can't be. That'd be ten time. o'clock New York time. Yeah, they're not going to start at night. They're not going to. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, but if they did, hold on a it'd second. Be interesting if you played mm-hmm. it and I can't do over. that. No. No, it's an MSNBC thing. That's Nobody watches them. And people are arguing about that, by the way. Let's see here. Uh-huh. What, is there any... Uh, MSNBC. Okay, here we go. Let me go to their site. Let's see. Mueller testify. Where's the... Here uh-huh. we go. Meet the candidates. Oh, uh, 21 hours away. Oh, they are going to run it at 10 o'clock at night out uh, 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 here in New York. Mm-hmm. You think Biden will stay awake for oh, that? Wait, 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 no, excuse me. No, 21, 21 hours. hours. It's uh, 8 o'clock. Yeah, eight New York. Time, okay, which would be five o'clock your time. <clears throat> yeah, eight to ten. I don't know why I thought it was seven. All right. Mm. How many really give a shit about this debate? Not me. I, I am. am. Here, here is the thing about uh, you. You are interested in it, right, Jeff? I just want to hear what they have to say. Well, they're only going to hear each, kill each other. Neither, none of them is going to get more than six minutes apiece. Well, That's enough to kill them. That's more than I've heard. Here, let me ask you. Let's all be political consultants for a moment. As you know, uh, Mayor Pete has a problem. And the problem is he's had some racial incidents in his town of South Bend in which a policeman killed a black person. Uh, he, he has suspended his campaign for the last couple of days to go to South Bend to deal with it. Okay? Uh, now he has this debate tomorrow night. And I said to girlfriend, I said, if I were him, I would say, uh, don't go to the debate. Stay in South Bend and deal with the problem. Because, number one, it's only going to get you points with people. Mm. You know, it's going to get you more points than if you're in that debate tomorrow night. Wasn't there a presidential guy that pulled off for a month? Uh, was it Rom? Not Rom. Uh, yeah, it wasn't Romney. Was it was McCain. McCain pulled or, back. Yeah. 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 He pulled off. I don't remember why he pulled off, but he pulled off. Because for, of the, the, the bank blowout in 2008. Yeah. Uh, was that it? Yeah. Uh, and uh, it didn't help him to go off. I yeah, but think. this is different. This is well, different. You're fighting for six minutes worth of time out of two hours. Okay. <laughs> Instead, you say, I'm sorry, but I can't go to the debate because I have a responsibility to my constituency at home to get this problem solved. Could have Skyped in. So how would people feel about that? You know, I think everybody would think even better of him. He's getting a lot of negative press in his hometown over this, too. I saw, now maybe it was just isolated incidents of people yelling at him, but uh, they're they're not happy with him there. No, some people uh, are very happy with him there. Uh, they, yeah. not, not, not the people who are related to the guy that got shot. No, they're just complaining because they don't like what went on. And they want him to do something about it. And he said he wants to do something about it. But please don't say that he, he, you know, he doesn't care about this. He took a very strong stance on that. The person that's putting him down that said, oh, this man shouldn't be running for president. He should be taking care of his home city, blah, 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 blah. Ori Booker? Is, no. The police chief. Really? Uh huh. And, and guess who's being assailed for having killed this black person? It's a police chief. A policeman. Chief. So right. he's yeah. going around bad mouthing Mayor Pete because he's trying to protect his own. 
Now, it, did this guy actually have a knife? And uh, now the police officer's I, body I, cam I, I don't was know. not on. It was not. They're never he, on. They're never on. He, he had one, but it was uh, not on. Yeah, they they say no. they're never on. They probably was on. They just they don't want. It was on. They erased the tape. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, well, they didn't have body cams when I did it. You know. Well, we because just they the didn't light. have a body cam large enough to fill your body. <laughs> no, that's the body cavity. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, it was, uh, but it was, it was, it was terrible what happened uh, uh, there. You know, when I was doing the cop stuff, I had a 34 inch waist. Yeah. Yeah. I gained a few pounds. I gained about five pounds. Yeah. So I'm Why? Going, so I'm going back on the diet again. You know. What have you been eating? I don't know. I haven't been eating anything. In fact, I've been, actually, I haven't had a hunger lately. It's mm -hmm. the cancer. Yeah. No, yeah, that's how they grow extra cells. Tumor yeah. 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 <laughs> Five pound tumor. So where was I? Yeah. Where was I? There, you know, uh, there was something I wanted to talk about tonight that I said, gee, that would be a great mm -hmm. thing to talk about. And then I, it completely eluded me. And I'm sitting, and I know as soon as the show was over, I'll go, oh, yeah, I remember what it was now. Well, you think the South Bend police are bad? You should see the police in Phoenix. <laughs> really? Yeah. There's a, there, there was a woman claiming oh, that they had I, body cavity searches okay. on her. I know what I wanted to talk about. God damn. <laughs> uh, okay. You remember. Judy Dench? Blep, uh, reparations. Ah. Uh, uh, I, I, I want my reparations from the Egyptians. Yeah, well, <laughs> go, go, go ask them for it. Yeah. yeah. I, my people built the pyramids. Yeah. Keep going, Alex, and or you'll forget. Yeah. What? Keep yeah. going, or you'll forget. Y reparations. Yeah, keep going, I bet, or I will forget. In fact, what was I talking about? Reparations. <laughs> reparations. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, there, there's this whole talk about reparations, and I... Let me ask Charlie, because he's our official uh -oh. black person on this program, <laughs> almost, you know. Um, Are you going to cash a check? How far do your people go back? My people go back to at least 1804. Okay, he gets it. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're in, you're yeah. in the club. I mean, were, were they, they slave were, owners were, were, or no, slaves? They were slaves. <laughs> <laughs> slave owners, yeah, right. Were they slaves? Yeah, they were slaves. Oh, okay. No, they, they well, no, not, not, not every uh, black person in America was was a slave back then. Well, my family was in Tennessee. They were slaves. Yeah, I'd Wait. say so. <laughs> when they got here, they probably were. were they were indentured servants, one of the two. Yeah. Well, there was a whole thing of indentured servants that went on, and there were a lot of whites who were indentured servants. Yes. Sure, they came over to learn a trade or... Uh, no, uh, they came over and they had to be subsidized and they were subsidized and they agreed to a certain amount of uh, servitude. Yeah, well, I thought an indentured, servitude, uh, indentured servant had to work seven years for the tradesman to become a... No, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a, a tradesman a, deal. No, what, no, yeah. no, no, no. We still use that term. Wait a minute. Yeah. In, the, in our union, we use the term. What? Uh, indentured. indentured. Indentured yeah. when you're an apprentice. What union yeah, is that? And, and that's where it came from. Well, I hold thought. on a second. What, uh, Eddie, what, what uh, union is that? I'm in the Millwright Union. The what union? Millwright. What, what, what is, who do they represent? I mean, what do you do that makes you a millwright? I work on turbines and, and pumps, big, heavy industrial machines. So, in other words, what's the job that they, the uh, Millwright Union represents? Well, I'm a millwright, so they represent us. But it's a basic uh, industrial mechanic. Oh, I see. Okay, I, I I just never heard the term before. You know, see, I I have a yeah, friend. That, that's what our bumper stickers say. What the hell is like a my union? For instance, when people ask me, <laughs> what is, who does my union represent? It, it's uh, really talentless motherfuckers. So you know. I, I had a friend who now this is a long time ago. My friend was 85 when he died a couple of years ago. But his father uh, came over as an indentured servant from Holland and and worked for seven years learning the upholstery trade. Uh, bef and then he was able he had uh, worked I guess for either nothing or very or just room and board. And then after the seven years, he was he became a journeyman. 
uh, upholsterer and could go out on his own, and his debt was paid uh, for the guy that did it. I, I, I thought that was indentured servitude. No. You know? I don't think uh, so. I think there were many different kinds of things like that. By the way, we're now getting, in case you just tuned in, uh, in our square, let's see, up there, right up there. Oh, he just came back. We were just looking at your curtains and your uh, your uh, wallpaper. Hey, if you shake those curtains, the, does uh, moths come out? Actually, when I'm home, she wants me to change the curtains. I never no. did that before, so this is going to be new. What are you going to change them to? I don't know. She's got them in her, like the back room. She has all different ones. So whatever she wants me to pull out, I don't know. So we got to see what she has in store. But you're going to keep the wallpaper, aren't you? Right now, yeah, the wallpaper is going to stay. It's a staple. It's a go-to thing. It's bad, isn't it? It is bad news. Listen, can I just ask you a little question here? I mean, I don't want to be bad about this. By the way, you could also clean your camera again. But anyway, oh, here we go. He's going to... He's gonna, he's, use yeah, use some Windex or something. Don't, uh, don't do it dry. It's just going to scratch the lens. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. Um, spit? <laughs> You gonna use spit? Anyway, Tony, uh, when she dies, and we know that's going to happen. Yeah, hopefully not for a long. Not time. Not for a long time because you want to keep sucking her for money. And uh, get unemployment. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Though. I'm joking. I'm I, joking. I can see Tony at the funeral now, crying his eyes out, and everybody goes, "Oh, we're so sorry for your loss." He says, "Yeah, that income, fuck." <laughs> I know she was the best job I ever had. You haven't gotten paid. We have yet. to hand up business cards. <laughs> I'll look for all does of she my know old you talk, friends. You, does she know you talk this way about her on YouTube? She, actually, she has a good sense of humor, so I do joke. We joke. You know what she says the other day? Now that I'm healthy, I got to stay healthy. I said, you got that right. Because <laughs> she knows we joke. She's yeah. got a good sense of humor. She's, well, listen, gotta listen about healthy. the time you're through with her. Okay, I think you can She'll come over. Me. You can, I'll you, far, since you're going to be a professional, you can probably come over and take care of me and, and Marjorie. Because by then we're going to be great. dribbling and talking to the walls. And you can put up that wallpaper in our apartment. He comes to Alex. I got the new wallpaper for you. Yeah. And we're going to watch movies today. Oh, yeah. God, he'll never leave. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Uh, but she's doing good, though. My, your life? I'm joking. <laughs> Do you go said, every what? morning? Do you go in? And, other, do you go in and poke other, her with a stick? You want to hear something funny? What? What? The other morning, I was calling. All right, she wasn't answering me. So shit, <laughs> and the door was closed. I got all scared for a second. I opened it up. I was. I, I had the door closed. I wanted to keep the air. And I said, "Okay," because I said, "Mom, I'm going to be leaving for work. I didn't hear anything." I said, "Oh God." <laughs> I walked in. The door was closed. I said, "I'm leaving for work." Okay, she's watching. You know the Today Show. Just lock the door. I said, okay. okay. All right, now that we're bored with those stories. <laughs> yeah. So Clint Eastwood's going to film in Georgia. Oh, really? Is he? Yeah. He's, yeah, he's going to defy the ban. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck, he's him. The Fuck him. He's, he's that was he, hasn't made, he, hasn't, he hasn't made a good movie in a long time. Anyway. Are you kidding? His movies have been great. Like what? Name the last one. The last one I saw, uh, Outlaw after Grand Josie Torino. Wales. Outlaw I Josie Wales is the last one you saw. No, no. I, I, I just saw one. I can't remember the name. I saw The Mule, and I was disappointed. Yeah, The Mule, that's the one where he was taking the drugs. Yeah, I, I was disappointed. I thought it was a good movie. Oh, I thought it was a good movie. You know what yeah. I watched last night? What, What's The Mule? The, you'll never guess. <laughs> uh, Mary Poppins. No. Oh, I saw it in the end of the second one. Oh, the second one was terrible. Oh, God, Harry Potter. I watched, yes. I watched Dumbo. Oh, the Tim Burton movie. You the, like the it? Tim Burton version. You uh, know something? I, I think it probably was getting a bum rap. Because if you look at it from the standpoint that they weren't trying to remake Dumbo, but they were taking the Dumbo theme and making it into its own movie, it works okay. It's kind of nice. You know? Tim Burton, he did that James and the Giant Peach. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my my kid, when she was like six, loved that movie. Yeah, yeah. How old's your kid now? 23. Oh, really? Oh, okay. That's did, the younger one. Did she talk to you? No. Really? Fuck her. 
I, and this may be this may seem like a stupid question to all the people watching this program, but why doesn't she talk to you? Uh, I think she's bipolar, and uh, I think she's got problems. Really, she oh, likes yeah. women, yeah. huh? Uh, no, she doesn't oh. talk to anybody. <laughs> she she moved to Toronto just to get out of Dodge. Uh, you know, she's difficult. Oh, oh. You look who's talking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you, you how many how many daughters do you have? Two. Two. And how about the other one? Does she talk to you? Yeah, sort of. What do you mean? Yes, sort of. I mean, you really well, don't. You know, she'll wish me a happy Father's Day mm. and stuff like that. But I don't uh, have much uh, contact with her. Why? Uh, you know, uh, the grandmother did a really good job of turning them into Phil haters. Uh, after I got after the divorce, uh, did she you have know, to work really? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Right here. Yeah, this may be another place. naive question, but was yeah. that a difficult task on her part, or was it quite she easy? Oh, I'm sure it was quite easy. Because you know, I've never met the grandmother, and we all hate you. Well, if you would have shown up at my wedding, you would have met the grandmother. But you were, oh, he's you were still with the gay guy. guy. You're still uh, mad yeah. that I didn't come to your fucking wedding. You know why I yeah. didn't come to your wedding? Because I knew yeah. you would have two girls. They wouldn't talk to you. And you'd have a wife who wouldn't talk to you either. So why should I waste my time going to a wedding Slayton or even came, buying a wedding gift for Kramer, something like Kramer that? came. Uh, Monty Hoffman came. But you went on TV. Well, mean, Alex went, didn't come to my wedding wait either. Wait, 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 yeah, wait. You didn't invite him. What do you mean I went? I, what do you mean T, I was on TV? You were, you were live with James Gabbard uh, uh, that night. Oh. Uh, it was July 25th, 1982. Oh Check your calendar. Ask Bubbles. <laughs> By the way, I'm looking, and we've lost a lot of people watching this. They died? Uh, yeah. they you know asleep. why? Because we're not getting mad at each other. We're not, we're not, we're not we're talking about, Scott if we do. we're not talking about what a that. prick Donald Trump We like is. Scott more than we like viewers. I've been drinking enough. I'm okay. I'm cool. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But he's just given anyway, a special let's, dispensation. Let's get back to this reparations thing. How do you feel about reparations uh, uh, since you have a vested interest in it, Charlie? <laughs> since you're, you had a relative or relatives who were slaves, right? Yeah. How do you feel about reparations? Do you feel you're due reparations? Well, by how much? <laughs> what? What did you say? You broke up there. I said, if I could go back, uh, I wish they would have let me into Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> you got into Northwestern. What are you complaining yeah. about? Well, I'm wondering about these reparations. I mean, are we talking about taking a whole ton of money, like several trillion dollars, and then splitting it up among every black person in America? Or would it be better to take that money and apply it to things that affect black people? Like better uh, better schools and neighborhoods and things like that, you know? But that would laugh sounds better. Yeah. You know, the people that would do reparations by from this country were like the Japanese during World War Two, when they took yeah. their property, mm -hmm. uh, they put them in uh, 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 camps or uh, what were they? Uh, concentration camps. Yeah. Concentration camps, according to AOC. And, you know, the, well, they these they were concentration actually, camps. They were concentration. They, they, they took their homes. They took their businesses. This yeah. was like Nazi Germany. Yeah, uh, and in the case you know, of blacks, they, and they were American citizens. They separated families. They made made them slaves. Yeah. They made them the, work the for nothing. They made them work for nothing. Not, the Dutch sold them to a bunch of Americans who then used these people. Come on, Phil. And you know. the and the uh, people. Oh, the so we're supposed. To, so we're not going to blame. From. We're not going to blame America for slavery. We're going to blame oh, the can Dutch. Can we blame Africa? We're going to blame the Dutch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, Phil. Come on, little, little Dutch. Come on, you know morality. Morality. No, your own black. sense of morality would say you don't own slaves, Phil. Well, I don't own slaves. No, I'm not talking. I'm the about slave. You. I have employees. Oh, you know what I was going to tell Alex? The NBA is going to change the term "owner." They're not going to be able to use it no more. Adam Silver said. Good. Oh, so what are they going to? They're going to uh, plantation owner then. I don't know what call them teams instead of teams. I don't, they call them I, I don't understand that because what what what, or something. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying, uh, 
Ed? Oh, I was just guessing it would be something like franchisee or something like that yeah, instead of owner. but isn't the guy an owner of Same a club? Me. I mean, if he's an owner of a club, just he like, really is. what, I'm, I won't be able to own my car anymore, you know? Yeah, I think it's kind of tacky, really. He is I, think, I think it's but being Brian, a little, you know. I mean, as long as, as long as they're not saying that the, you're the owner of the, uh, of, the, of the team itself, in other words, the people in the team. The player. Yeah. But the they player. do own the team. They own the sometimes team. Sometimes they, they do say stuff like the player and, and the owners. Yeah. And their owners. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I think it's franchise they're probably going to go to. Well, I guess, you know, but I mean, I think. because yeah, they own the franchise. Aren't we getting a little snippy about this? You know? Yeah. Well, will they want reparations? You know, I mean, I just, if, if you know, they're, 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 and of course we have a lot of the Democratic candidates going, oh, yes, I'm for reparations. Well, it's it's fine to be for reparations, but will you please tell me how you're going to do this? How you're going to accommodate this? How do you decide? 40, huh? 40 acres and a mule. That's what they were well, they, offered. They got that originally. I think that was from Georgia gave them 40 acres and a mule. Or was it Florida? Who gave them 40 acres and a mule? Texas, I thought, or no, Oklahoma. Oh, no, no, it wasn't a, It was one of those. Uh, but they, they gave them 40 acres and a mule as reparations. Homestead. I thought that was a national thing, but I, I no, no, it wasn't. It was, uh, it was just one state, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I stand correct. So I mean, wow, this Forbin Colossus must be a Republican. Did you see what he wrote? Yeah, he is. Reparations <laughs> would increase sales of crack, malt liquor, and menthol cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Put the money to education and freedom from credit gouging which impacts the black community more. Well, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, not the first part, but, you know. In other words, if you're going to do reparations, then the, whatever you're going to uh, assign to reparations should be assigned to things which will help those communities. But then again, how do we know where the blacks are? I'm sure there are whites living in black communities, aren't there, Charlie? Yeah. Burn them out. In Harlem. Oh, Har well, Harlem. Harlem's a Harlem's really... not black anymore. This, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, it is, Phil. Now it's Jewish. No, it's quite, quite. Uh, it's still. When I walk down the street, I would say nine out of ten people are black in this neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, well, at least you haven't, uh, you know, destroyed the neighborhood then. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you know, we still. Although in this apartment house, there are a lot of whites who have moved into it. But that's only because they have uh, put in uh, uh, the rents they're charging for these apartments yeah. are getting ridiculous, and they really legally, I don't think they can, but they're getting away with it. How many of them are rent stabilized in your building? Well, that I don't. Well, everything's rent stabilized. Uh, oh. Almost all of them, uh, except for those which go back to 1935 and are rent controlled. Yeah. So okay. therefore, but the, what they how did, they what, get they, what they did here, in order to get tax rebates and stuff, about five years ago, they said that every apartment in this apartment house is rent stabilized. But rent stabilization works in a weird way. If say they take an apartment and it's empty. And then they go in and they fix it up. They can charge the next people the money for that. And they can also, if it goes over a certain amount of rent, like let's say, let's say the rent is 1500 rent stabilized. Just say that it's for an argument, okay? Yeah. Now let's say you now claim you put $100,000 into this apartment and you're going to add that to the charge of the rent. You can bring the rent over the rent stabilized price, which then means you can charge anything you want to charge. Well, isn't it based on what you put in for the repairs? <laughs> yes, if, or if the but, improvements. But, but, but they're 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 always over claiming what they did yeah. with the improvements. They're, they're they're getting ready to fuck me in my apartment building. Uh, they painted the hallways, and. Uh, and uh, they didn't tell me to bid the carpet, so they're gonna. Somebody's putting in the carpet. So. Uh, well, I'll tell you something. Here, here, here's something that's kind of interesting about what's happening with us. Uh, there's a uh, there's a thing called um, uh, they're uh, they're trying to pass a law up in Albany about what's the word I'm looking for uh, improvements that that yeah. uh, 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 owners can 
charge people more rent based on improvements. People in this building get a new rent uh, notice with higher prices because, oh, well, we did certain improvements, like they're fixing the front of the building. They're going to charge that back to the people who are renting. And, 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 and that really shouldn't be because they're making the improvements so their property is going to be worth more. Okay, not be, uh, and I, I, I would not be getting that if I were paying that much more in rent. It's a whole stupid thing. But here's the thing that I found out about our case. The city of New York did something while my case was going on. We had a thing called, if, if, I, if somebody uh, rented me his rent-stabilized apartment, and he charged me, say, $2,000 more a month than he was paying for it, like happened with me, Mm -hmm. you could get treble damages for that. For yeah. two oh, years, oh. for two years of the time that that was going on, the city of New York is up that to four years. Did you? Did you, your attorney do a search to find out if the guy that rented you the apartment had hidden his assets or, uh, uh, you know, done something? We to, have no idea. We have no idea if that's going to happen. We haven't gotten to that point yet. Oh, at that they point, can't do discovery, I guess. At not that yet. point, we would have to do a discovery if we found that he was hiding assets in order to not pay us off, let's say. Yeah. But all I'm saying is that where before they could only go back two years for the treble damages, they can now go back four years for the treble and damages. And you were paying for four years? Uh, paying for 32 months. Long so, enough. So, yeah. So, you know, it's. Uh, uh, Certainly, I can get tr trouble damages there, but hopefully it'll all be solved. Now, I missed the full out. conversation. I heard a, a bit of it that you, when you were talking to Larry Brown, that uh, uh, you, the judge said something. Uh, the, you're in, a, in the in a good position, or the, did the judge no. come forward with more information? The, the, ju the, the judge supposedly said to all these people that he looked upon us as the innocent parties. Okay, mm. that's good news. Yeah, you know. Uh, so if we're the innocent parties, he, he, in fact, he's asking them all to show up in court on in, in the middle of July. Uh, but he said, uh, Mr. Schwarzman and Miss Miller don't have to show up uh, because well, that'll save you some money in attorneys' fees. No, the attorney still has to show up. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, but Your the, attorney. that we yeah. don't have to appear, but the other parties do have to appear. Because he feels the fight is between them and that we're the innocent parties, and, and we just have to sit there and wait until we see what we get out of this whole thing. This but, is good. But, it, it, you know, there are a whole bunch of other things, too. I mean, I could wind up paying $500 a month rent for this place. <laughs> That's good. You better live a long time. Yeah, but it, well, no, I won't live a long time. They'll be poisoning the water here, you know. <laughs> Uh, no, but it, it, uh, there's a question as to what the legitimate rent stabilized price should be because they never registered it properly. It's, uh, it's a whole thing. Maybe they didn't realize it, but you've been there since 1934. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> yeah. You know, but, uh, now, you're, luckily for you, the guy that you rented from is the one that did all the improvements in the apartment. So the No, landlord, they, they did some improvements, too. They, oh, they did, did improvements, but they don't have the receipts for it, so they can't prove it. <laughs> oh. Really? They can't prove it. Yeah. I mean, that was a long time ago. It was about 2003, something like that. So they threw them away, probably. They did the kitchen floors. They did the bathroom floors. Uh, they did, I think, some of the counters and things like that. Oh, I, I, can, give you, I can give you an estimate that puts it down. It's, it was 39 cents. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you, floor estimates. Yeah. By the way, I just uh, you, you all know who Judy Dench is, right? Yeah, yeah. she's uh, she's going to be in Cats. Is she? Yeah, uh, yeah soon. They're, they're, yeah, and uh, she's happy with, uh, what's his name, Weinstein? No, that's not what she said. Can I read what she said? Yes. Of course she Judy can read Dench what she has said. said that the work produced by Harvey Weinstein and Kevin Spacey should be separated from the offenses they are alleged to have committed. Story continues, both Weinstein and Spacey face charges, you all know that. Dench says, are we going to negate 10 years at the old Vic and everything that Spacey did, how wonderful he's been in those films, she said at the double Oscar winner Spacey, 
we're just not going to see those films that Harvey produced. Are we, are we just not going to see the films that Harvey produced? You can't deny somebody a talent. You might as well never look at a Caravaggio painting. You might as well never have gone to see Noel Coward. Mm -hmm. I, I think the point she's making is one which uh, I would agree with, and that is if the person did good work artistically, uh, you shouldn't deny those works. Uh, you may deny the person and assail the person for what he did, but to suddenly not show his films and not uh, uh, acknowledge his, his worth as an actor is, is wrong. And Aren't we I, doing I a similar thing it. to uh, Civil War uh, uh, statues no, and memorials? No, no, no. Because How they, is that any different? Because a lot of those memorials, believe it or not, Phil, were put up in the 20s and 30s. Yep. Yeah. They weren't put in, up after the Civil War to memorialize these people. Well, I'm surprised that Judy Dench said that about Kevin Spacey because Kevin Spacey said she's not my type. Ah, well, <laughs> oh boy, Phil. How you can trivialize something. <laughs> no, but I mean, I I think that uh, I I do think that we we have to remember the person's worth of their talent and not deny people that talent. I mean, do we not watch uh, Quentin Tarantino's Hateful Eight because it was produced by Harvey Weinstein? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. I mean, what Everything. happened if Spacey came forward and he said, listen, because he was really never straight. convicted. He was never convicted. He's still on trial. He's still on trial, yeah. yeah. Let's say let's say they don't convict him. They don't have enough. Say if he comes forward and says, listen, I'm sorry if I hurt anybody, and he just, you know. That's what he and, said. No, he didn't. He uh, never did. Didn't he say he no. didn't remember it? But no, he said he, he did, didn't. He said he, he did, did it. He said he didn't remember it. Right. But, but he, if he, he did, maybe he, he does have problems. Like he could be a drinker that he doesn't know what he does either. You don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just guessing. You don't know. What do you think, Kevin? You've been quiet tonight. It's a, it, uh, Spacey's a perv, right? Eh, you know. <laughs> he said he had his hand. Uh, they say he had his hand down his pants, right? Oh, well, I don't know the whole oh story. did he really? But, who had whose oh, hands down? That's who, what they say. They say that he had his hand down the guy's pants. Oh, I right? see. This was the thing in uh, in Connecticut or someplace. Yeah, like that. at the bar. At party. But, you know, it's all it's all hearsay too. So you know, it's uh, the same damn thing. Isn't Spacey do uh, due process? You know, how come all these? You know, how come if you don't like a yeah, guy, I, he's guilty? Know, yeah, I agree. I agree. But you the know, it's, all, it's all hearsay. I I yeah. think they are all due due process. You know, yeah, and, and they, I, they are. And I, 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 I do think that Harvey is due his day in court. And, and some of the women who have accused him of stuff have, have suddenly said, uh, no, it didn't happen. You know, uh, and, and uh, how much of it was consensual? I mean, I'm not trying to defend Harvey Weinstein. He's a big fucking creep. OK, yeah, exactly. Um, but, but, you know, let it let it let it all happen so that, you know. Yeah, let let the let the chips fall where they may, and they probably will fall that way. But and, and, let them fall. But, but here's the terrible part. Let's say Weinstein goes to court. Let's say he gets every one of the charges against him, and I don't think there are a ton of them. There are only two or three uh, dismissed. Okay, are we suddenly going to allow him back into Hollywood making movies? Oh hell no! If Spacey is found not guilty on these charges in Connecticut, are we going to? cast them in films again and go to see them? You know, their careers have been ruined, no matter what. Pretty much. You know. But, you know, but he doesn't have as much shit on him as, as Weinstein does. Yeah, I think Spacey could and, have a and the one and, and the one that that's I... That's because it wasn't women. The one that, that bothers me is Spacey. the... That's, it, that's it, probably true, too. The but. one that bothers me the most is Louis C.K., who I think if what he got caught for were to happen last week, it would be a nothing burger. You know, uh, and, probably yeah. Yeah, I have but, a feeling the Louis C.K. He was just trying to be funny. You know, well, it, I, don't, well, I don't know. Let's not figure out what he was trying to do. If it had happened now, rather than at the beginning of this whole Me Too thing, I think that you would have yeah, found that Kevin, uh, uh, then that uh, Louis C.K. would not be in the trouble he's in right now. But he did do a, a, a show out on I think it was Long Island or somewhere like that this weekend, mm -hmm. and no. Got, I, Oh, okay. Where was it? Do you know? Kevin? No, I, I thought he did one here in San Jose, didn't he? You're right, San Jose. Yeah. And he got a standing ovation. 
People loved yeah. it. You know, people want to see him back. He's a when people make people laugh, they people want to hear from them. You know. Hey, listen. Thank you, Scott, for calling tonight. The drinking was worth it, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, number one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Charlie, thank you. Phil, thank you. Jeff, thank you. Tony, thank you. Ed, Eddie, Ed, Ed. Ed, do you like Ed or Eddie? Eddie. Eddie, uh, thank you. And of course, Kevin, thank you. And if everybody give a big wave goodbye, uh, I will wave back and so will the audience. Okay, there we go, folks. There they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. I'll hang up on them now and get rid of my Skype so that uh, the next program, which is here with uh, the lovely and attractive Jack Bishop, called The Intersection. We'll be able to use the lines as well. Uh, we're uh, going to take the next uh, 22 hours off, and then we'll come back again tomorrow to uh, give you all a bad time. Right here, same time, same station in life, right after the uh, the exchange with uh, Damien Chaplin. Oh, actually, we have the franchise MC with the sports show, and then Damien at 9.30, and then at 10 o'clock, I'll be back. Same time, same station in life, as I always say, and in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night.